Nearly half of all Portage County teens have tried vaping. That is according to a new study that's out. This is Congress closes in on raising the age to buy any tobacco products to 21. News 9's Victoria Saha joins us live in the Control Center with what this could mean to merchants. Hey, Victoria. Phil, Melissa, the bill introduced by Congress could pass this week. It would stop anyone younger than 21 from buying tobacco products, which includes e-cigarettes. Vaping continues to increase for teens in our area, and the people I spoke with today have a mix of reactions. This sign is plastered at Blazon Gifts as soon as you walk in. No one 18 and younger is allowed in. But owner John Rundell may have to change that sign soon. We card people, and if anybody looks, you know, um, way too young. We try to, we have people 18 and above coming in here, so, you know, that's, that's about all you can do. He tells me he isn't happy with this possible new ban. Uh, I'm an ex-veteran, and I think if you're 18 and you can die for your country, your country shouldn't tell you what you can do. But he says he doesn't think it will impact his business because he says there's no question kids will get their hands on these products one way or the other. You know, they're just going to get somebody that's 21 or older to buy it for them. A recent study showed 43% of high schoolers in Portage County have tried a vape product in their lifetime. 11% say they used tobacco products in the last 30 days. Sarah Schroeder, a respiratory therapist at Aspirus, is calling it a vaping epidemic that needs to stop. I think reducing the number of 18 year olds and taking that the age of 21 and reducing that social circle aspect can really help reduce tobacco use. Hoping this ban will make a difference with the abundance of vaping related illnesses hospitals see. Sarah says when an adolescent is exposed to nicotine, it makes it harder for them to stop their addiction as they get older. Stick with us for any updates on a boat on the ban this week. In the Control Center, Victoria Saha, News 9 WAOW.